Okay, so tomorrow morning is my donation appointment, so I'm gonna do the best I can tonight to prepare for that. I'm gonna drink plenty of fluids, I really enjoy tea, and I'm gonna have a really good meal later and prioritize rest. And then my body, my body will be best prepared for my donation tomorrow. A lot of people don't know that drinking plenty of fluids the day of your donation is really important, but it's a lot more beneficial for you if you drink plenty of fluids the day before your donation and eating really good meals the day of and the day before. And that way your body is best prepared to lose a pint of blood. The day before your donation, you'll get an email that looks like this, just letting you know how you can make your appointment a success. Also gives you a link to the quick pass. And then the day of, you will get this email, again with a link to the quick pass, and it just kind of breaks down what it actually is and how you can complete it and letting you know that you need to do it the day of your appointment. They share a video with you, and then you can go to links to our FAQs and lets you know about all of our COVID-19 safety measures, everything like that. If you do not happen to get these emails, you can just look us up on the internet Go to the three little tabs, click donate, and what do I need to know? And then donor quick pass comes up. And then you'll be brought to this page. And it just is letting you know that you can complete this in three easy steps. Reading the educational materials, answering the questions, and then screenshotting or printing the QR code it gives you at the end. Again, saying you must complete it on the day of your donation and you need to answer the questions honestly and confidently. So then we'll go to step one where we read the educational materials. Just click on this PDF. These are very important for everybody to be reading. We add some new things on there as we figure more stuff out about the eligibility for donating and things like that. And it has a medication deferral list just in case you're taking medications that don't allow you to donate. Lets you know the risks and hazards and gives you information about iron loss. It tells you uh, to not donate today if you don't feel well. All of the good information like that. So then we'll go to continue donor quick pass. You click start. You'll put in your information and it'll take you to this page where you'll complete the 43 questions. At the end, it will take you to this page where it says, congratulations, you're done. And so then you'll click that print quick pass button. It'll give you a QR code, take a screenshot, and then bring it into your appointment and you're ready to go.